Hi guys, and welcome back to anti Metal Dimensions. So it's been like an hour since the last recording, but apparently I can already unlock an Infinity Dimension and get my Break Infinity upgrades. So that's crazy. can even unlock the second one. Wow. This is so fast. I don't even have to do infinity challenges anymore. I mean, that's just great. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is without dimension boosting. This is crazy. The seventh eternity milestone is OP. Whoa, whoa. Eternity already. Maybe it's also the second time dimension, because if you don't know, I actually unlocked that recently. So that's eight eternities. Is there a milestone? No, it's only nine. It's unlocked auto by max galaxies. So we don't have to like wait to get like our galaxies anymore. Which is really good. There we go. We have some momentum here. Wow. This is crazy. You can get my dimension boosts. There we go. Get my dimension boost again. And why is it slow this time? I can get my Okay, maybe that will let me do Infinity Challenge 5, which will help. There we go. Now that's Infinity Challenge 5. I still don't know why it's slow. That's the thing. Ah, that's why. That's exactly why it's slow. Okay. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get to Eternity again. That's gonna be nine Eternities, which will give us another milestone. There we go. So now, I'm gonna... I max galaxies every X seconds. I'm gonna set this to 0 0.2. It's the best thing to do. And I'm going to get my infinity dimensions going. Get all my break infinity upgrades so fast. It's like really hard to like keep up with the speed. Soon we'll have infinity dimension auto buyers though. Which will help. And this is crazy. The fact that we have to do no more infinity challenges is helping so much. See what happens if we go for the long run. That's two eternity points easily. I need to get Rebel Canty upgrades. I I don't know if I'll I don't know if I should be going for long run. I'll just eternity here and get this another level of the first time dimension. So I'm gonna get these break infinity upgrades. And then infinity dimensions. Then get all that. Bro, this is fast. This is ridiculously fast. Um, okay. That's another infinity dimension. Let's get another infinity dimension. Whoa, this is crazy fast. That's another eternity point. 
So the next thing to save up for would be an Eternity upgrade to this one. And that's 10 Eternities, so I like to set this to 0 0.1. Actually, no, I need the option to bulk buy the Mention Boost first, so then I like to set this to 0 0.1. No, 1. And then I'm going to get the rest of these. It's so satisfying. Get my Infinity Dimensions going. Soon I'll I actually unlocked an auto buyer for the first infinity dimension, which is cool. I can remember to get that, and then the fifth infinity dimension, and then the sixth one, and then. The seventh one, and then the eighth one, and then eternity. So let's see how far we can go. Like, quickly. This looks like two eternity points is quite achievable. So. Now that's an auto bar for the second infinity dimension. So I can turn that on. Get the third infinity dimension. And then... Whoa. That is... This is even more ridiculous. Wow, this is crazy. Like eternity already. And let's get the eternity upgrade. So, infinity dimensions multiplier based on unspent eternity points. Go. Now. Let's... Why am I even dimension boosting? What am I doing? I should be getting... So I have an auto buyer for the third infinity dimension now. So I'm going to turn that on, and then I only need to worry about 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Um, there we go. So. Oh, I see why. It's because it's 1. I meant to set this to 0 0.1, and I guess 0. So now it's going to dimension boost for me. Whoa, look at- look, I nearly reached eternity with only four infinity dimensions. So imagine how far I could get with eight. This is crazy. I say this is crazy all the time because it is. Wow. You get three eternity points easily. Um, you're not secret achievements, but um, now we should have an auto buyer for the fourth infinity dimension. This is without any break infinity upgrades. That is crazy. I know I'm saying that is crazy way too much because it is. Um, we have to turn that on. Get that. Get the sixth infinity dimension, the seventh, and the eighth. And then eternity. It's just a routine. Although three eternity points was easy, so I should probably get that. This is crazy. The replicati are going fast. Well, sort of fast. We're getting infinity dimension auto bars, and we can get three eternity points real easily. So, I don't know what to buy with the eternity points next, so I'm just going to save them up. I'm going to get my break infinity upgrades. And I've got all of them. Before I even know it. Okay. I turn the fifth 
Infinity Dimension Auto Buyer on. And then I get the sixth one, the seventh one, and the eighth one. Let's go for three eternity points because that seems optimal at this point. We need to unlock Replicandy, but we don't need any Replicandy galaxies. Okay, here we go. Three eternity points again. Now I have ten. That is even crazier than before. Okay, let's get all of these break infinity upgrades. And now we should have an auto buyer for um the um next infinity dimension. I don't even Yeah, it's the sixth one. So we're gonna get the last two and then eternity, but we're gonna get for three eternity points because we're going it's like a balance between points and milestones. Like whatever we can get quickly. Okay, replicanties, let's unlock these. I might go for a little bit of a longer run, but yeah, actually I think I might do that. Um, I might just turn Auto Galaxy on and let it go, let it like do its thing. I'll try and go for some time theorems. Actually. Okay, still have infinity dimensions to get. And hopefully it won't be slow. We're going to manually crunch for a little bit. And get that. It's tempting to just eternity here. I mean, I could. But, you know what, I'll see you guys in a bit. Maybe I'll even turn this off and... Actually, no. Yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit. So yeah, see you then. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm up to E570 infinity points, and I've noticed that I got over E120,000 antimatter. I also noticed that the reason why this kept wanting to change to 1 was because it was like the default when I bought this upgrade, so luckily we're going to be able to keep these upgrades soon. Um, I don't, I don't think I still have E120,000, but I'm close, so I will see you when we've got it. And the replicanty time is down to like 30 seconds. So yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm back like 30 seconds later, and I can now get another time theorem for E120,000 antimatter. So I'll see you guys when we have E600 infinity points. So yeah, see you then. Okay guys, I'm back, and I turned my Big Crunch Autobuyer off because I figured it was more efficient to do it this way. I'm going to turn it back on here, and now I have E over E600 infinity points, so I can get that, and then crunch for 75, no, eternity for 75 eternity points. So now I have a lot. And, um, what should I buy them on? Well, um, I should maybe get that. Um, that. And I'm not sure of what to get next. Maybe this. Um, it doesn't really matter that much. I, whoa, I need to be getting my break infinity upgrades. I'm gonna hold enter to get the repeatable ones. And there we go. I'm just gonna spam to unlock the infinity dimensions. And then, and there we go. Now, I I have auto buyers for almost all of them. Oh, I eternityed. Didn't even realize. I'll get that. I'll start getting these. Soon I'll be able to keep these. I'll set this to zero point one infinity dimensions. And then, yo, this is so fast. Here we go. Oh, I eternity again. 
Great, I didn't even get to turn the autobiro on. At least I'll keep my break infinity upgrades on the next eternity. And I can set this to 0 0.1 and I won't need to do that anymore. So I'll try not to accidentally eternity. I have 22 eternity points. I guess I could buy a time theorem. So we've reached the first three-way split. We can only choose one of these paths. And there's, um, oh yeah, of course. And I'm trying not to accidentally eternity. There we go. I can turn that on. And then go for the peak eternity points per minute, so. Um. I guess I'll just eternity to here. I could buy another time theorem. I mean, why not? And. So, the, this time studies you gain 10 times more eternity points. And so I'm saving up to get go down this path just because it's cheaper, so I like to do that first. But with spare time theorems, like as we're saving up for something, I spend them on this side. And then when we're saving up for studies that are um, after this first three-way split, and I have more than seven total spare ones like invested into here, then I change to the middle path because it's pretty powerful. And then once I can afford the time study I'm getting, say this one, I would change back to the normal path with no studies here. Um, I know it's... Whoa, 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 whoa. This is crazy. It's, like, automated at this point. Um, I wasn't even paying attention. I was just explaining the time studies, and... If you didn't understand what I was saying, don't worry. You'll see it in practice. So, um, what's eternity here? And... I can almost get this upgrade, you gain five times more eternity points. Hey, I have how many times of eternity? 21. So it means that I can almost get, um, um, when I get 25, I'll be able to have an auto buyer for unlocking the infinity dimensions. So it'll be very automated apart from replicanti. We're gonna get our replicanti stuff. And then Yeah, I think I'll buy another time theorem here and get this. Because I have spare time theorems, I'm saving up for this. So I think that I will see you guys later. Bye!